On one side of Windsor High Street stands William the Conqueror's Fortress, the largest inhabited castle in the world. On the other, beneath a pile of blankets inside the bus shelter, is Carla Jatsy, a homeless 24-year-old, or vagrant as the local council describes her. Now it looks as if both of them will play a supporting role in the great royal showpiece of the year. It is a cast-iron rule of royal weddings that they always generate some unexpected political or diplomatic maelstrom ahead of the big day. It happened to the future queen in 1947 after an MP claimed her wedding dress had been produced by enemy silkworms from Japan, it hadn't. And so it is that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle find their own marriage plans mired in a furious row about homelessness in Windsor. By last night, their wedding had been recast as a grand tableau of social inequality played out on news bulletins around the world with the happy couple demonized on social media as a cross between King Croesus and Marie Antoinette, and all thanks to the leader of the local council. If Simon Dudley was ever on the guest list for St. George's Chapel, Windsor on May 19, his name will surely have been erased by now. For reasons best known to himself, the leader of Tory-controlled Windsor and Maidenhead Council, or the Royal Borough as it likes to call itself, decided to use Christmas week to demand that the police deal with an epidemic of rough sleeping and vagrancy on the streets of Windsor ahead of the wedding. In his festive tweet, Mr Dudley added that aggressive beggars had been marching tourists to cash points. He has since provided more details in a letter to the local police commissioner for Thames Valley, Anthony Stansfeld, in which he deplores the hostile atmosphere for our residents and the 7 million tourists who come to Windsor each year. It is becoming increasingly concerning to see the quantities of bags and detritus that those bagging are accumulating and leaving on our pavements, thus presenting a security risk, he warns. Obviously, the level of tourist interest is set to multiply with the royal wedding and there are increased concerns from our residents about their safety. The whole situation also presents a beautiful town in a sadly unfavorable light. In response, the police commissioner said that he had been surprised by the letter which had been released to the media before he had received it. But he would consider Mr Dudley's points. The council leader was unavailable for comment yesterday, having chosen to launch his broadside while on a skiing holiday in Wyoming. His media management does have a certain Donald Trump quality about it. However, there was no shortage of heated debate on the freezing streets of Windsor. I found opinion fiercely divided on the causes of homelessness in one of Britain's wealthiest areas. The one thing which united all sides, however, was a degree of sympathy for the royal couple. If I was Prince Harry one would be furious that the biggest day of my life has been overshadowed by all this, said Murphy James, 34, who runs the Windsor Homeless Project from a room at the local Baptist church. We are always told that the royals have to stay out of politics. And here you have a politician politicizing a royal wedding. Once homeless himself, Mr James helps the charity provide a drop-in center, legal support and a weekly meal for all comers. He thought that there were between 12 and 15 people sleeping rough in Windsor at present. Several more come here to beg from elsewhere, something which angers the resident rough sleepers. But Mr. James said the one thing all beggars have in common is some sort of mental health issue. Hence his irritation at Mr. Dudley's attempt to drag Prince Harry into the argument. Prince Harry and his brother have brought the whole issue of mental health home to millions of people who wouldn't. <laughs>